I'm going to assist you in setting up your Surface Go tablet for student use. Before we begin, make sure that you have your Wi-Fi password handy and your student's username and password. You can get the student username and password from your student's teacher or find it on the Infinite Campus Parent Portal. First of all, you'll notice that the tablet is in a protective case. On the side is the charging port. There's also a headphone jack where you can plug in headphones. On the top is the power and the volume keys. The tablet has a kickstand that you can use to prop up your device for an easier viewing angle. There's also a removable keypad keyboard that you can use to enter in information. Let's start up the device. I'm going to click on the power key and you'll note that the Windows icon comes on. It will boot into what's called kiosk mode so you don't have to enter any usernames and passwords in here. It's automatically going to take you to a screen where you can start working. We'll enter your username and password for the student in another spot. But before we do anything, we'll have to connect it to the network. You will not have to do this if you're in the schools, but you'll have to do this in a home or other setting. You may also get other windows that pop up. You can simply ignore them or click X to get out of them. To get to the screen where you can enter your Wi-Fi information, you can use the back arrow or simply click on the Windows icon on the screen. Remember, it's a touch screen. There's also a Windows key on the keyboard. Let's go to the device settings. I'm going to click on network and internet and show available networks. The, this should bring up your networks available around you. I'm gonna click on the one that I've already connected to and I should be on the internet. I can click back down here onto the Google Chrome icon. Remember I can also click on the Windows key and click back on to the Chrome icon there. You'll get now a screen that takes you to ClassLink. When you first log into the device, it will take you to ClassLink. From here, uh, we want to first sign in to Google Chrome. So before we do anything else, I'm gonna click on the little head at the top of Google Chrome and click Turn On Sync. This will ask me to enter my Google username and password, which really is your student's email address and password. So get that handy and type in their username, followed by the domain at stu.aasd.k12.wi.us. This is a one-time step. We'll click the next button and then we'll enter in the password. Click enter or next. Don't worry, if you entered in wrong, just do it again. The first time you use your Google account, you'll be asked to accept the terms and services. Scroll down with your finger or use the arrow keys and click accept. Now we're signed into Google. We have two more screens. First, choose link data. And second, turn on sync. In order to get back to ClassLink, I can either click on the tab or click the home icon on the top. We have to do one more sign in and this time to ClassLink. You only need to enter your student's username and password this time. When you're done, click Sign In. You should get a screen that asks you to save the password. We're gonna click Save, and this will allow your student's password and username to be saved so you don't have to sign into ClassLink every time. In fact, if I close down Google Chrome and open it up again, you'll note that the username and password is saved. I'm gonna click Sign In, and it'll take me back to the ClassLink dashboard. ClassLink has many of the apps that your student will need 
to work in a virtual setting and at school. The first one that you want to use is Canvas. Canvas is the learning man management system for the district and this is where your student will start their day with their teacher. For the first time we're going to click on the Canvas icon and the username and password should go right into it and I'm going to click Save, that's fine. I first of all have to agree to the user policy, the acceptable use policy, and submit for Canvas. This will now take me to the dashboard for Canvas where I'll be able to find classes that have been activated for your child. First of all, um, I don't have to do the tour, I can exit it out and do it later. And now I have a kindergarten class and an art class to get started. At the end of the day, you can close down the tab. You can also leave it open. Remember, if I go back into Google Chrome, it pops right in, sign into ClassLink, and then sign into Canvas. If you close the device or leave it for a while, the device might give you a lock screen. That's okay. Just simply hit the enter button and it'll take you back to the screen. Make sure that you charge your device at the end of the day. You don't need to shut it down, but you can with a power button or here. 